And Jim, maybe one of the biggest matches that we were anticipating and most wrestling fans here in Williams. Number one, Logan Storley. Number two, Chris Perry. Granted, Storley's only loss this year is to Perry, the Southern Scuffle Finals. The reason Perry's not number one is he lost to Todd Porter from Missouri by major decision earlier this month. So there had to be some adjustment in the rankings. And as deep as 174 is, Storley right now is at the top of the heap. Yeah, it's a fun weight class this year. You've got probably easily 10 guys that could probably get into the semifinals of the, of the tournament. Maybe get to the finals. So these are two of the best right here. Logan Storley, one of those guys that just, just finds ways to win. Chris Perry, certainly a talented wrestler. Is skillful at changing levels. Works well off the elbow ties, inside bicep ties, good rider. Gets out quickly, so. Minute gone by, still scoreless. And you have eight of the top 10 wrestlers in the country are in the Big 10 Conference. So, you know, Perry doesn't have to go through that gauntlet being in the Big 12, but, you know, a good win by Storley here might, might set him on pace to get go into that Big 10 tournament prepared. Yeah, but the, 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 the thing is, is that John Smith has always had a challenging schedule. You know, that, that he'll go out there and, 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 and find the best and, Go out there and wrestle them, and, and uh, so they're going to get their their challenges. But you're exactly right; that Big Ten schedule is a grind, and and it's week in, week out, and you can be wrestling some of the best guys in the country. And you look at weight classes like 25, you know, in the Big Ten, and 74 certainly one of them as well. So, but I think that I think that actually makes it better. You know, a better way to prepare for the NCAA's, but you know, chasing good competition and. I think you find yourself at such an advantage if you weather it when it comes time to the national tournament. Still scoreless, minute five to go, period number one. Top ranked Logan Storley, second ranked Chris Perry. Couple of All-Americans. Couple of nice duck under high crotch attempts to the lead leg of Logan Storley by Chris Perry from Oklahoma State. So Storley is skilled at disguising his lead leg. You know, likes to be out there, but he can go left lead leg, right lead leg. Thirty to go, still scoreless. I mean, wrestling is a sport completely as far away from chess as you can think of, but right now this is this is a chess match. Yeah, it really is. I mean, there's that many openings being created. Just a bunch of pawn play right now. Five seconds remain. And we will end the first period. Scoreless. Back to action, Storley's gonna start. Second period in the bottom, looks for a quick switch. Up to his feet, Perry, good job of hanging on. Good job of hanging on, he's got his elbows in, he's able to control the tie. Storley understands where, where he's at, so he tries to make Perry look bad and trying to push him off the bat, mat, but uh, good action. Storley's well-schooled in the bottom position, and Chris Perry, one of the better riders in the country. There, nice grip, got the leg locked up, got the hip turn, spreads him out a little bit. And this is where Chris Perry is pretty solid in the top position. He'll work that bar arm off that near leg ride. Already 30 seconds of riding time amassed. Yeah, you know, not a whole lot of similarities in, a, in, in many of the styles that Chris Perry between his older brother Mark, but there are some flashes where you see a little bit of Mark Perry and Chris, and some of that's with his riding. Yeah, well, your father was an excellent rider. Mark Perry Sr. I'll try to catch nice with a job. side headlock now, there. Now he comes that head and arm. See how's that head and arm? He puts both legs in. Now he's gonna go ahead, he's working real high here. Oh! How about yes. that? You bounce yourself on your own head. That, that still <laughs> advantage Perry. There's no change in riding time here. Perry can go ahead and square up. 
And that's close. They're gonna call one point escape, but the changeover here is one point of riding time. So very close to being a reversal. Yeah, you know, didn't quite all, have the control behind him. He was all the way behind him, but, but the referee at, going off the mat gave the one point escape, so good call. Boy, boy I look at that, Logan Storley totally committed to getting that leg ride. Yeah, you don't, you don't see a guy spike himself on his head too much to get out of a move. Yeah, into a shoulder roll, yeah. but he... Uh, Those you know, South Dakota kids are tough, man. Yes, they are. <laughs> a lot of evidence of that. Uh, you've got personal experience yeah. with that. So the, uh, I would tell you, what impressed me about that whole sequence there is that, you know, if you do that, if you do that from the feet, that let that that movement right there and go and, and try to spike down, that's a, that's an illegal move on the on the person who executes that. So, um, but they're on all fours, so the referee didn't call it. But if you do it from from a two uh, legged position there, the referee can call that a, almost like a slam. It's an illegal move. And two seconds left in the period, and we will go into the third with Storley with a 1-0 lead. Riding time at one minute and one second. Favor of Perry, and barring the quickest of escapes, we would kind of expect that riding time yeah. to get underneath one minute. I certainly don't expect that, but what again, what it does is that Perry needs to get out, but he's not in danger of giving up riding time. See how the starting position there, he was able to flare his ankles out. Sometimes if you change, you get to the other side. This is what Storley is really good at. The little nuances in the sport where he moves off things so well from the top position. Now he's got an ankle, he's gonna come out there. Perry's gonna kick out, but he follows well. He's just let it go. He there. understands that this match is gonna be decided on the feet. There's no real tactical advantage to riding out there. Unless ride him the whole time, which is going to be pretty difficult against Perry. Escape tied it up at one to one. 30 seconds gone by here in the third and final period. Number one and number two, Chris Perry, Oklahoma State. Logan Storley, Minnesota. 10-9 lead for Minnesota in the team score here in the finals of the NWCA Cliff Keen National Duels, along with Jim Gibbons, Jason Bryant here with you from Williams Arena in Minneapolis, Minnesota on the campus of the University of Minnesota. Again, tied up. And Storley hasn't been able to get at all. I mean, neither one of these guys have made hardly any penetration, but he hasn't been actively looking for a shot. I think that with short time, kind of been his pedigree here this, this year and last year is to go ahead and pull these matches out with a flurry of action at the end of the periods. So. Look out, Logan. And coming up on 40 seconds remaining. Neither wrestler really is fully committed to an offensive attempt here in the second half of this bout. These guys hold position very well. Fifteen to go, working on the edge. We get a fresh start. These two did not meet in the dual meet. They did meet in the scuffle match won by Perry. And we will go to bonus wrestling. One minute sudden victory here at 174. Make sure we get the clock set exactly at 30 seconds. We'll clear out the riding time and we're going. One minute. One minute. Excuse me. Good motion, good motion. That's it. 35. Moving. Perry with the inside collar tie. Halfway through the sudden victory period, number one. Cat Mousel, half shots for both wrestlers. Now a little head and arm action there by Perry, but 
Has he got enough to go ahead and go all the way with it? Storley pushing his hips back. Difficult to get any of that, so short time. We're headed to the right out situation. Yeah, Storley keeps his, keeps his leg back. As Perry likes to use that uh, that inside trip from that particular tie. Yeah. So when you got your hips that far away, it's, that's a hard thing to commit to. Yeah, unless you're Minute Bowl. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We've got yeah. a tiebreaker number one. Storley will be in the bottom position. Goes back goes right to, that. to that head and arm position. Okay. You try the leg, that lace leg. That's tough to hold on to when you have a. Uh, well, Minnesota fans don't like that, but actually that was a situation where the advantage was all for Chris Perry there with the head and arm tie. Yeah, it's more, you know, in that situation, it, it's all, it's pretty much a stall ride. Yeah, it is a stall ride. He's coming right back to it, right? He's able to cross over. Now Perry's going to get that, try to get that leg in. Uh -oh. Plenty of time here for Storley to get out. Fall. Oh, wow. How about that, a defensive fall. Stacks them up in the neutral position. Six on the board for Minnesota. Wow. Perry looks beside himself right now. Well, he did pull him over the top. I don't think we can say what Mr. Perry just said to his coaching staff, but he is not happy. Well, he, motions run high. Obviously, Coach Smith saw it. He wants to make sure his athlete goes off the mat, and we're going to move on to the next match. But, you know, he did pull him over. and.